So what you're seeing here is really exciting. What you have on the page is an AI chat agent that not only does all of the chat stuff, but it's also an agent and can do actions for you. This agent specifically is connected to my database. I have a super base database, which is like really awesome. If you don't have a super base account, you should totally go sign up. And I have this agent connected to my super base database. So I'm sure you're wondering, how does it work? What does it do? We'll take a look at that in a minute, but I'm just going to show you how it works right now. So here I have uh, a new chat. So I can say, hi, what tables do I have in my DB? All right, and it's able to go write the query to fetch stuff from my database. Again, this is connecting directly to my Superbase database and it's powered by Hyperdrive. I'll show you how that works. But if you take a look at what this does, this is my Superbase dashboard. I actually have two tables. I have the books tables. I also have the elements tables and my agent is able to query the database and fetch data back. And if you take a look at what's going on here, so if we turn on the debugging mode, you, you see what is actually going on behind the scenes. It's able to call the right tool, which is query database, and figure out the right SQL query to run to get that going. And it's able to fetch the result and put it back in on the UI for us to interact with. So let's see what's in the books table. All right, so it's fetching stuff from the database and uh, responding with the results, which is actually cool. And we can do things that are more advanced. So we can query the database in natural language and have the agent run the query, get the results, get it summarized and return it in a human readable form. So let's ask it an interesting question. Let's say uh, my table has all of these fields, the ID, the book name, the price, quantity sold, and the publication date. Let's say what are the top best selling books? All right, and it's going to query the database and rank them by the number of uh, books sold. Let's ask it something that is a bit more complex. So let's say what percentage of our total sales comes from the top three best selling books. All right, so that's a bit more complex. It, it needs to figure out the top three selling books and figure out how much of our sales percentage is made up by that specific category. And it's able to do it. So, uh, it, he made the query to obviously fetch the top three selling books and he did some computation to figure out that it uh the those three books account for about 40 percent of the sales volume we've made which is really awesome and that's all coming from a database and an agent that is connected to my database using hyperdrive so let's take a look at how this works and hopefully it inspires you to build awesome agents uh yourself so let's switch over to my code and i'll show you how this works all right, I have my code opened up here. And of course, this is a worker application built using the agents SDK. If you don't know what that is, I am going to have that linked below so you can go check it out. But this is where you find all of the information you need developers.cloudflare.com forward slash agents. Uh, but to get this connected to my database, I need to have this linked to my super base database using Hyperdrive. And this is where the connection settings is created. And I have that also on my dashboard, uh, which has been connected through Hyperdrive to my super busy instance. Uh, but the more interesting part is the server.ts file, which actually starts the interesting agent experience. So this is a worker, don't forget it's built on workers and it receives the request and routes it to the agent, which is awesome. And this is what that agent looks like. The agent is a JavaScript class that has the ability to perform operations. And one of it is setting up web sockets, setting up the chat experience. And this is where you get all of that configured. And also it has access to tools, just like the query database tool you saw earlier. So this is where we pass the tools into the agent. And in this case, I'm using the 
GPT-40 model. You can switch this out for any model you prefer. Um, it's all going to work just fine. And that this is what an agent looks like. Now, more interestingly, let's see what a tool looks like. And this is a tool. So we have the query database tool, which is the tool called by our agents to query the database. Because if you go back here, let's look at the chat and you take a look at the uh, debug mode, you notice it always calls the query database tool and passes in the right SQL query. So this is what that tool looks like. It's a JavaScript uh, object that defines what a tool is. The tool has a description, has parameters, and has a function to call to perform the action that that tool is supposed to get done. And for this tool, it's calling a function called query function. And this function queries the database. So it gets a super based connection from hyperdrive uh connects using the pg client which is the uh, local postgres client and runs the query and returns the result back to the agent and the agent is able to do stuff with that information when it gets back to it so like in a nutshell that's how it works and i have an option here i'll also be leaving a link to this repo um, in case you want to take a look at the code and go in depth yourself but in certain situation you would want the agent to ask for a confirmation before running a query so if you have this connected to a production database for instance you want it to confirm the query before actually running it you can set that up by writing another tool and then omitting the execute function and finally passing a list of executions back to the tool and then whenever the agent needs to call that tool it's going to ask for a confirmation you see a confirmation dialog and you'll be able to uh, run that tool but this is how it works in a nutshell and really this is really cool so you can get this connected to any database i have superbase connected here using hyperdrive and again if we take a look at the logs for this specific um application you see all of the queries it has been running to get stuff out of my super base connection which is really cool so let's uh we need to refresh this and you can see all of the queries it has been running sql queries by the way it has been running to get stuff from my database it's not using an api it's connecting directly to the database and it's really awesome so i'm sure you want to build awesome stuff using the agent sdk i'm going to be leaving a link to the documentation i pointed out earlier and also a link to the github repository for this specific application and you can go build stuff you can add more tools to it you can make it do a lot of interesting things so let me know in the comment section what you have in mind to build with this and um, i'll be sure to check it out and, and see what you're building all right don't forget to get subscribed and i'll see you in the next video bye